بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm going to talk about lumbar spine mobilization and this mobilization used for pain or hypermobility this mobilization have five techniques to apply the first technique is accessory rotation and this technique have three ranges initial range mid range end range end range and this technique type is indirect and and the indication is unilateral pain patient position side lying with upper leg flexed at hip and knee lower leg is extended therapist position stand behind the patient with both hands on the pelvis this technique used for either acute and chronic condition the initial range used for acute painful condition and the range increased as the severity of problem decreases this technique used from 30 to 60 second from 2 to 3 times mid range used as the first progressive technique as been reduced and this range used from 30 to 60 seconds from 2 to 3 times end range very effective with the painful symptoms are percent the the end range this range used from 30 to 60 seconds from two to three times. The second technique is anterior directed central gliding. The type of this technique is direct. The, the indication are central or bilateral bend. Patient position and prone position. Therapist position beside the patient with extended arm. This technique most effective at the mid or end range using the thumb or busy form bone. The technique duration from 30 to 60 seconds from two to three times. The third technique, anterior directed unilateral gliding. The type of this technique is direct. The indication is unilateral pain. Patient position, in prone position. Therapist position, bes beside the patient with extended arm. We apply this technique in the facet joint. This technique affects in mid range and the end range by using the thumb or busy form bone. The technique duration from 30 to 60 seconds, from two to three times. The fourth technique, transverse directed rotational gliding. The type of this technique is direct. The indication, unilateral pain, patient position, in prone position, therapist position, beside the patient with extended arm. The pressure in this technique applied to the side of the spinous process. The direction of pressure should always be toward the painful side. The technique duration from 30 to 60 seconds, from two to th three times. The fifth technique, longitudinal distraction gliding. The type of this technique is indirect. The indication, unilateral pain, central or bilateral pain. The patient position, 
in supine position with hips flex, flex it from 30 to 45 degrees with knee extended the therapist position grabs the distal tibia with extended arms and use body weight central or unilateral in acute or chronic low back pain unilateral or bilateral this technique duration from two to three minutes Oh